it's Balemore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Fallout 4, for the PC of course, survival level difficulty, and we are on part 98 of our series. Hooray! So, we are, let's see, we're on a miscellaneous quest, and I'm sorry if you heard any background noise, um, I accidentally unplugged my headset. I should really put my nice headset on, I'm just using my, uh, the whole time on this channel, I've been using my earbuds for my iPhone. And uh, they're absolute garbage. You should actually have a nice headset on. But anyways, back to the game at hand. We have completed all the quests up to this point, except the main quest. I think this is a glitch quest because you can't actually choose it. And it says I did it. But when I talk to Mr. Garvey, it starts the quest for this. So I, of course, want to save that to very, very last, only because that's going to take me toward the end of the game. Now, we still have several things to do besides miscellaneous quests. I believe this quest here, which takes us to the Brotherhood of Steel, which appeared on their mysterious giant um, spacecraft. Well, it's not a spacecraft, like airship. Yeah, that's what it is, airship. And, um, you know, that'll probably... Bring us to more repeatable quests in there. But uh, for now, we've got a nice little list built up of miscellaneous quests. Let's see how many we can get. So, talking to Hancock, this is, um, if you caught the couple of videos back, we actually went on a dig, which I would recommend watching that video if you haven't. I forget if it was called the dig, something dig, but we, um, we ended up breaking into, without us knowing, um, Hancock's secret vault, which we chose to leave without fighting because I was afraid we were going to get kicked out of Good Neighbor for good since he runs a show here. I didn't want to make him permanent enemies. I knew I had a lot of quests in here. And if there's any latency going on, um, it's only because I have uh, a big video rendering in the background, but I think, I think the latency went away. So, we're here at Hotel Rexford from the brewing quest and we're gonna pop out in here so Hancock is a ghoul and we've got a it's kind of like with the mob we, we basically got to say hey I'm a man I broke into your vault but uh, no hard feelings Chapel Charlie's got some work if you're looking he's down in the mayor Hancock well if it ain't Bobby's little Patsy here for protecting my stash why is decision turning on Bobby like that I wonder if Bobby's dead over this. <sighs> We're okay. Bobby tricked me. She got what she deserved. Yeah, that's usually how the story goes around here. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again, get a grip on what really matters, living free. <laughs> Not my problem, that probably would go over well. Oh, he can be a companion. Well, see you around, Hancock. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna take some time to think about all this. If you ever need a good-looking ghoul to watch your back, let me know. I wonder uh, what his weapon of choice is for uh, being a companion. Hmm. Not a bad little setup in here. He's got guards watching for him. Yeah, he's not a ghoul. I'm surprised everybody in here are ghouls. Most of them. Memory den's great. Just don't get hooked like old Kent. Oh, that's Guys, the lady that was guarding the vault. The past. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Whoa. She needs a good bang. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are... You know what? Let's, since this is going to be a short video, um, why don't I go outside real quick and go over some new stuff? 
Okay, so we're in Hotel Rexford, staying right outside it. It's a pretty beat up place. We actually, uh, the lady at the, um, at the bar who sings, we got to have sex with her. It wasn't like The Witcher where, you know, pretty much showed it, but, you know, we did get laid. She wasn't a prize. I think for the Commonwealth, she was a prize, but... Okay, so... I was counting. I have, like, um... I don't know, ten add-ons. All of them are visuals. I did remove the chameleon one, only because this one allows me to do chameleon armor, but there is no transparency issues. So, I like the cloak look. I wish you could get that. They'll probably make a mod where you can keep your cloak look when you stand still, your invisibility. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. A little sneaking. Sneaking makes me nervous. Sorry, buddy. My kitten. Um, so there's no blue, and there's, um... You can read your pit boy with no problem. There's no bright. It's only because it's super sunny right here that it looks a little bright, but you can read your pit boy very clearly. There we go. So that's pretty nice. So if I'm in an active zone and I start the video, I don't have to worry about showing you guys the quest and then, you know, being blinded. <laughs> Let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. Give somebody a Nuka Cola. Where's this D bag? I don't remember this. Well, you know what? We are. Okay, let's see. Anything else I want to talk about with mods? Um, so the chameleon one is new. I've been futzing with that. This is the best one, I think. Can't remember the name of it now, but. You know, you. You can have your weapons out. You can't tell. But you definitely stay invisible. And it doesn't make you permanently invisible. You know, so I don't feel like I'm cheating. Which is important to me. I don't want to feel like I'm cheating. I work so hard to get super high level. Hours. I, I can't even tell you the hours. It was like The Witcher 3. With all the discovering and whatnot. It was like hours. But all that hard work I got all the perks I want and um, you know we're making ammunition I haven't done that in a while I think we got 52,000 caps I should probably work on my trade route stuff I don't know if um, you can set something up with your trade route so you can make money Looks like there's a settlement up there I can, you know, attach. I haven't touched that one. Well, that was the Underground Railroad. I didn't know it turned into a regular settlement. Pretty cool. I'm probably missing several settlements. Um, let's see what else. I think, oh, the next video in the series is definitely going to be Dying Light. Um, I'm really looking forward to that survival horror game. It's going to be super fun. And I don't remember if there's a difficulty, but if it if there is a difficulty, it will be on max difficulty. And then in the pipeline, I did, um, I know I mentioned this before, I got Amnesia, both the games. I got the collection, it was like 20 bucks. Trying to stay on good behavior. Uh, the Dark Descent and Machine for Pigs. That's a survival horror. That's old school. Hey. Hey, what? <clears throat> You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then I got Penumbra, and it comes Requiem and Overture, and those are the ones before Amnesia. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. The graphics didn't look very good, and I don't know. I'm a little iffy on it. I think I'll research it a little bit, but I don't know. I'll end up probably since I did buy it. I want to put it on there. All my games, I'm gonna eventually get on the channel. Um, but that's just what's in the pipeline as of right now. I don't really know from there what I'm going to do, but, uh, I'm excited just putting on more content. I really do miss talking to you guys in every video. Even if I was, if I don't get a lot of views, I still miss doing it. I don't know. It's just weird. But I thought I would, uh, wouldn't miss it as much, but I sure, I sure do like doing it.
So, anyways, guys, I won't take up any more of this video time. Next video, um, we are going to keep cleaning up these miscellaneous quests. We're going to, I don't know if it's just handing the cola and getting caps. We'll just move on. You know, we'll, we'll keep going down. I just want to keep this informative at least. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else upcoming. I think this, starting this weekend, going good, forward, you handle your own I'm going to uh, continue researching uh, video rendering. I don't know if any of you guys out there that are that are subscribers that are any good at video editing, but um, I'm definitely looking uh, for pointers and tips. What you guys think would be funny or more entertaining in my videos, um, I definitely would be open to doing anything the way that you guys would want because it's all fun to me this hobby of mine that I started you know I have my vision issue that I'm centrally blind pretty much and then I'm going in the games blind you know not playing them or in, in most cases just testing the very beginning and get the you know control scheme video settings down crafting system that kind of stuff so I didn't have to dick with it when I was um like fallout 4 here the crafting system well, it's very easy in the building system but it took me a second you know and uh I, I just wanted to do this hobby and enjoy it and build on it so like now i have my intro video i i got my template i edited it and uh, now i'm rendering it um in front of my videos and now i have an intro video which is cool but i had to research how can I do it through YouTube? Well, you can, but you're going to lose all sorts of quality. And it's going to look like shit. <laughs> so you need your own rendering software to do it. I didn't know any of that. Copyright stuff um, with this gaming. Um, yeah. Outside monetizing on the videos, which you're not making any money without millions of views. Um, I would love to make some money to just focus on this, but, you know... I have a career, so it doesn't really matter. It would just be cool to do in the end. But, uh, you know, until something like that happens, I could care less. I want to do what you guys want. Um, so, you know, feel free to leave in the comments of the videos, not just this video, but any videos. You guys like something, pinpoint it out. And I'm pretty good at this stuff. I do computer work for the government. I can catch on to this stuff pretty quick, and uh, I've always wanted to do it. So it's just like a slow learning process. Especially being a hobby, uh, a part-time hobby, um, I do put a lot of work into recording and um, making sure content comes out for you guys um, so you're not too bored and, and this channel doesn't go stale with you know no new content coming out. I do put a lot of work in. My wife can attest to that. But uh, she was very supportive and I'm, I'm glad for that. Um, anything that she would do, of course, I would be the same way. I'd want to support her. So I'm grateful that I have a family that is willing to allow me the opportunity to try this. Whether it pans out or not, I still try it. It's just one of those things you wanted to do in your life, your bucket list, and you don't want to regret it. You just want to do it. Whether it is positive or negative, you can say, you know what, I did it. Not down the road going, oh, I wanted to do that YouTube thing. I always wanted to do that, but you know, I never had time. I mean, we have time to sit in front of the... I was never big in a TV, but... Um, we have time to sit in front of the TV. What, what, what's an hour or two a night, you know, for four or five days a week? Not a big deal. I go a little more crazier, but... <laughs> but it's all good. And, you know, I'm meeting new people. Um, new personalities. And it's all been positive. I'm still waiting for somebody. It's, you know, you're going to get a troll several trolls especially if you do get a lot of subscribers and viewers but i'm still nice and small so i don't have to deal with that yet which has been nice but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the video um i'm gonna do a few more tonight just trying to keep some commentary in throughout the week like i promised and as always until next time later <laughs>